Have you ever struggled to spell the words receive, maintenance, or occasion? You aren't alone. These words are some of the commonly misspelled words in the English language. It's safe to assume that they've found their way into countless letters, notes, and documents over the years. But thanks to one handy invention from 1956, those mistakes became less permanent. Insert liquid paper, the tool that sparked a line of products that help us all fix our mistakes today. So what led to the invention of one of the most popular office supplies of the 20th century? In the 1950s, typewriters were everywhere, and more often than not, women were using them, like Bette Nesmith Graham, who worked at Texas Bank & Trust. She climbed the corporate ladder to become an executive secretary. A core part of her job was typing. While the new electric typewriters were faster than manual ones, they had some downsides. The carbon film ribbons were too messy, and the key triggers were too sensitive. For secretaries everywhere, this meant more typos and smudged carbon when they tried to erase their mistakes. Bette looked to find a solution that would save her from retyping whole pages. Graham used her kitchen blender to whip up white tempera paint. Armed with a tiny nail paint bottle filled with her new concoction, Graham secretly started using it at work to cover up typos. Soon, other secretaries in her office found out about her secret. And by 1957, she was selling 100 bottles every month to her colleagues. To meet the demand, she paid her son Michael and his friends $1 an hour to fill the bottles, cut the brush at an angle for easy application, and label the product, Mistake Out. Over the next few years, Graham continued to market Mistake Out, but her growing business was about to make life more challenging. One day at work, she accidentally signed off a letter as the Mistake Out Company instead of Texas Bank & Trust. Ironically, her own invention would have come in handy if she had caught her mistake in time. But she didn't, and Bette was fired. It was the break she needed. In 1958, Graham changed the name of her product to Liquid Paper and applied for a trademark, which made her product's unique recipe a trade secret. The demand for liquid paper grew so much that by 1975, the company was pumping out 25 million bottles a year. And with that, a whole new category of products had taken root. Everything from colored correction fluid to self-correcting typewriters and correction pens started appearing in the stationary aisle. Despite the competition, Graham's secret formula allowed the Liquid Paper Corporation to take control of 75% of the market by 1979. But trouble was brewing closer to home. Her ex-husband, Robert Graham, who had initially helped her build Liquid Paper, now conspired to bar her from the company and even tried to change the Liquid Paper formula. But Bette fought for control and retained a 49% stake. In 1980, she sold the brand to Gillette Corporation for nearly $48 million. As the demand for correction fluid-based products remains, Bette's legacy lives on, not only in the product she created, but also in the many ways she influenced how we correct typos today. Don't make a mistake by missing out on videos like this. Hit that subscribe button and head on over to thehustle.co to subscribe to our daily newsletter for more stories about industry-changing founders.